Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. In this video, what I want to do is start work on my self-sufficiency from the point of view of my construction. But before that, I want to speed the game up a little bit, actually. I want to give you guys a few tips and pointers about the current state of my settlement over here, which is my cash making settlement. The first thing is that when I'm running at high speed and you're just trying to make money, it's very difficult in this game to avoid tinkering. You can see here, I've done a little bit of tinkering here with and I've put in a fabric factory here which is connected to this clothing factory and it's not making a vast amount of fabric but it's making enough to improve my economy here you can see I made 66,000 well, a bit more than that actually say 78,000 a month it's not brilliant but it's making a difference now the other thing I've also been having a few problems with is my Food. my food supply is still a little bit low and I've got real problems with this uh, meat factory but to be honest I'm not too worried about it because only storing one ton in here is a bit of a joke I'm, I'm actually preferring to export it just to show you here I'm getting more by exporting it than actually doing anything the other problem you've got to watch out for with fire stations and this is actually was quite expensive for me is that fire engines seem to if you get destroyed so eventually if, if they go out to too many I just want to check this fire station over here well he's okay so I've had a few problems with this fire station probably because he does most of the call outs because we got the coverage if I show you the coverage he's got the biggest coverage and what actually happened is is I had a fire over here at my gravel storage and I only had the one fire engine by the time it got over here this had actually burnt down, which is a bit of a disaster. I'll talk about this stuff in the middle of a while. Well, I've actually learnt my lesson. I've actually built a fire station over here. But something you need to worry about is, is getting to places, because some of these places seem to burn down quicker than others. And if you lose something like a major store like this, then your, your economy is effectively crippled. So let's get over here, guys. Now, one thing I did mention in the previous video is that I was going to build this road with my construction crew. But as a result of my fire, I actually built this road in to try and improve a bit of communications. Right, guys, what does all this mean? Well, I did start to make a video and I did about 25 minutes trying to sort this area out. And it was me faffing around trying to get these buildings in place because the way, just to show you guys, if I, uh, I think it's gravel. If I show you the I can find the cement plant. Getting these various terminals lined up is re real pain in the neck. So um, in the end, I decided to leave this and start the video with this laid out. So I'm going to kind of talk my way through it. There's a couple of mistakes in here, which I will also talk about as we go through. I've got my cement plant here, which is connected with a ropeway to my prefab factory here, which is then connected to this open storage here. Up here, I've got my concrete plant and over here, I've got asphalt plant. Now, from the point of view of construction, this is a little bit of a chicken and egg situation, simply because if I show you here, you can't build this manually without asphalt. And it's the same with the asphalt plant. You can't build it without concrete. So effectively, I'm going to have to build these with, with cash. And the other problem I got is that a lot of these roads are gravel roads. And actually, I'm going to buy that. That's some of these really small lengths of road it's it's actually easier just to buy it to be honest 78 rubles who's going to complain now the other problem i've got is that these are gravel roads and i need to build these up to make a connection because i want to get to this bus station in order to be able to get workers into the asphalt plant so what we're going to have to do is build through here with um, gravel roads and then that gives me a problem of upgrading this road so this is why i've built this relief road around the back to here oh the other thing i also want to show you is i've built an oil storage tank here connected to the asphalt plant but mainly so that i can show you guys what it how you, you can actually lift um, pipes up over roads and it's i can't remember whether it's a and d or q and e i actually discovered it almost by accident but it seems to work and of course so the other thing is we've got an open storage area here so I think that's about of an intro for this. I think it's time to get this kicked off. So this is the construction office. And you can see that we've got, uh, this is where you assign the construction office collects its resources from. 
And what you really need to do is buy some a kit. Kit. You know, buy a, a bus because you've got to move your workers around. Although, if you get them near somewhere where they can walk to it, they will actually walk to it right there. You're gonna get a couple of these T138 bumper trucks. They got the most biggest carry capacity. Now the next thing is I want to get an excavator, and I really like this excavator here because it's it's well 18. They're, they're all 18 miles now, but that one seems to be the, the most powerful. Now, the, but if you watch that, it says it actually weighs 11 tons. So, but, so if I put that there, and if you go to an open hole, somebody actually gave me a tip for this in the video, and a big thank you. I can't remember your names, guy, but a big thank you. We're going to get this open up here. This also carries equipment, so what we're going to do is get one of these to do deliveries. So that's my basic construction things here. But the other thing I'm going to get is a bulldozer, and we're going to get a roller and a paver. Because what I actually want mainly in here is a road construction crew. I think that's enough to get me started. And what we need to do now is assign these. We're going to assign you to there. You, uh, no, nope. I'll make sure you're on the right one. Now, the asphalt and concrete we can't assign at the moment because the <laughs> buildings don't exist. And the other thing I also want to do is I'm just going to assign these guys here. I think we're going to get a few extra workers in here just to get them working here. And what we're going to do now, now you can auto assign this, but again, somebody gave me a tip saying that if you also assign this, this will go out and grab all these bits and pieces. So what you want to do when, especially in the, when you first get started is choose where you want to do so. Oh, we we'll need to put a road through there as well. Now, what you can't do is assign a head of the road connection. So that's something you need to consider guys. I'm just going to put that road there. I'm just going to connect that up like that. So we've now got a connection through here. We've got our road crews out and running. Now, obviously, this is, could be a little bit boring while these guys are doing it. So I'll just show you what it looks like when we first get these guys first get started. But after that, what I want to do is come over and plan this area over here. And you can see what happens is they come and start delivering the, the gravel. I must admit the animations look quite cool. See, look, <laughs> and you can see these now delivered the bulldozer, and I think the bulldozers work on some, and sometimes it sends an excavator. I think they've both got a common role. And you've got the buses now. I'm going to bring some workers down. Although strictly speaking, if you've got these vehicles on the case, that you don't seem to need workers. But it's almost like there's a, a common mechanic here. I'm not sure why that is. Did I assign that? Maybe that was broken. And mm, what I'm going to do is get that, 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 and that. A little bit. We do need to break through to this concrete plant. And then I'll, I'll build that manually. Now, while that's all going on, I've got a little bit of a project here because if I show you here, we need steel and gravel uh steel and various other items i think if, you, if i show you here it'd be easier so, so we got asphalt concrete steel bricks prefab plants boards and then mechanical components electrical components are stored in a warehouse and what we actually need is a small a storage area because it's going to take me time to get down to here to open that one up and i've had an idea up here for what i want to do so what I'm going to do is just get this in. And I want this in as close as I can get it. Yeah, I'm not using money on this because money is still tight. But what I will do is actually buy this. I'm building that's on fire. Excuse me for my paranoia. Where's my fire engines? There they are. And what we're going to do is just build this in. That look, actually, I'm not going to build that in just yet because I want to finish off the rest of what I want to do here. And what I want to do is get in 
aim. Because what I want to do is take advantage of this tree is to get some wood cutting industry going. Well, that says green, so. And then what we're going to do is get a, a post up here. That's nearly green there. And what we'll do is just. Hopefully that will. And what I want to do is be able to connect these up like that. And now that I know that connects, we're, we're on that depot there. And we'll just get those there. I think what we will do is just connect this up for some gravel roads. It's the fun bit. Okay, let's go up to there. Yeah, that's actually coming to there, so. Where's my substation? Just want to check. Oh, of course that won't show because it's in there, but one trick, guys, if you want to check things over, you can do it in reverse, because this will show you what the connections are when you're building. So in theory, that should be just in range. If not, we we'll have to fix that with a power thing. Right, why? So what I do is push that road up there and that road up through there. This is now built, so we can get this up and running. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of micro with doing this construction process like that. And of course, what we can do now is Sign that to there. Now I'm not too worried about getting the concrete working just yet. I mean I could start sending concrete to the cement plant here to build it. You can see it needs 90 tonnes of concrete. At the moment what I want to do is get to the bus station and up to here because what I need to do is get some footpaths in to connect up to the asphalt plant. That's my mistake actually. What I do need to do is build these I'm just gonna again these are a little bit of a catch-22 situation if I show you here so this needs steel even needs mechanical components so it's it's easier just to build these in myself and that should now once we've got some workers in here we'll be okay and while those roads are building up what I want to do now is think a little bit about the railway situation because I, in the previous video I said I wanted to build the oil refinery first but I've actually twigged that what I need to do is get a bit of an export industry and get my railway built and what I want to do with the railway is actually build it uh, using the construction so this could be fun because I've never done this before but before we do that what I want to do is come out here come here I want to connect that up there and then we're going to go for electricity. I did consider diesel, but then I thought, well, what's the point of running diesel when you've got lots and lots of... Actually, let's just this back a bit. Mm. Now, if any of you guys know, I'm assuming that if you put one of these power leads in, it will power the whole of the whole network, or a good proportion of it. I'm accepting that maybe that uh, you can't and you couldn't do the whole of the map from one power connection or we'll blow the transformers properly so we've now got this area here connected up like this so we've now got this bit running here I just want to make sure yeah, we haven't got that on no purchase because that's a very easy mistake to make so this is yeah, actually one thing I didn't do, sorry about this guys, is uh, get some steel prefabs, a small smidgen of bricks and some boards. And actually, wow, really going through the money. I think what I'm going to do is just to try and offset some of the costs, what I'm going to do is... Uh, there's a open hole 
able to grab that guy. It's probably all the biggest capacity. And then what we're going to do is send you up to the brickworks and you can deliver bricks over here. And wait until loaded. And then when you get here, just unload. Right, I'm just going to get you underway. And so that will be up and running and these guys have run out of work to do. And I want you through there to do, do that as well. Maybe you can just to keep some of these guys a little bit busy work and a few odd jobs. Actually do that as well. Because I want to come over here and carry on working on over here for the moment. So this is all building in quite nicely. So we've got the open storage here and I've been looking at this, I, I mean I did look at the railway connection here and cargo stations okay but it doesn't store anything so I'd have to have a warehouse associated with it to do some stuff. Now what I want to do is put a warehouse in and the warehouse has got a rail link but I can't see if there's anything here that I'm going to be exporting. So what, well, what I want to do is give myself the option, should I need to do it? So like we've got some plastics, fabrics, food, alcohol. I don't see anything in here that I want to export. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do this a little bit on the cheap. And so I'm going to put this here. I want it in as close as possible so that it will connect to the, if I can stretch that out. That's right on the limit. Maybe if I want to leave a little bit of a gap, or maybe we're just going to put that in. As I say, this is more of just backing the odds up a little bit. And what we're going to do is just come up in the game of go away. So the idea is, is we have the warehouse here, connected this line here, like that. And this will connect through. So I can have a train running through this section. Got some nice long sections here for trains to start sitting. So they don't obstruct the track. And what we're gonna do is just run this road through here, like that. And of course, I, one thing I haven't done is put the power cables down to here like that. I'm not sure why that's off. Turn it back off again. Because one of the problem things I've noticed is if you switch one on sometimes one of the other ones comes on. And so we've got that down there. So this is the connection at this end. Now the next thing I want to do is check that uh, they're still busy building these roads up. I think what we will do is on the bus station. And then what I can do is get in here and we're we'll buy a bus and that bus can pick up there and go to there and again. So we'll have the bus running down to here and what that should mean is that these workers should come into here. In fact, what I do need is some paths. Because I'd better make a start on connecting this up. And what we need is a footpath round to there. Footpath round to there. See what I'm saying is until this, so if I show you here, this has got a connection to the concrete works. But it, until I get this footpath through, we're going to have no con connection to the asphalt. And what we will do is add to the job as well because that will speed up the people there because just to show you guys I think I've mentioned this before but people on footpaths walk faster than they do on roads so if I show you the road here you see it's 90 so it's gravel it's 75 percent so what you really want is people on the roads here and I think we get another job 
Yep, add that job to it. We need to get round here so that we can actually connect up the foot frost. This guy's enjoying himself, isn't he? Look. <laughs> yeah, it's all finished. And what we'll do now is hook up the next bit of the road here. One tip, guys, is if you're laying something out on a grand scale, before you do the detail, lay out the main roads and build them first, and then things will move quicker. But this needs a bit more gravel, so maybe I've overloaded the system a little bit. But it'll be okay. Right, back to here. Now, the next thing I want to do is, uh, no, it's in here, it's in construction, is you've got this railway office. Now we are totally in uncharted waters here, guys. I've got no real idea of how this actually works. I've never done this before. So, what well, I do know a couple of basic things. I actually watched a video, somebody's video, and they were talking about how it's done. And one thing they did say was that you don't need um, what we call it electricity. And what we're going to do is just put this up like that. Now I know that I can't build this bit here, so we're going to have to pay for this bit of track here, and then we're going to get this construction site here, and then what we're going to have asphalt around here, all that through. Like that. Actually, what we could do is mm, I can come there. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, yeah, it's annoying. Okay. I have to put a petrol station over here because one thing I've noticed is these construction crews like to keep going back in and getting fuel. So I'll just put a petrol station in there. We've now got this hooked up here nicely. Now, the next bit is. I'm tempted to put it up here, and that is the uh, what we call it. Ah, gone what it's called the train depot. Mm, but I think what we're going to need to do is extend this way. And extend that out even further. Now, I actually watched a video, and I can't remember the guy, somebody gave me a link. And he does a very good overview of how to manage dual, um, double tracks. Now, if any of you guys are wondering why I'm using double tracks, is that in the UK we actually have uh, double tracks virtually everywhere. We don't have much in the way of single track railways, except for maybe in some of the more remote areas. And so double tracks are very much the way things are. Because to be honest, I don't like the idea of single track trains so I think we can put that there now comes the fun bit what we got to do is I'm going to kick that up to there I'm going to kick that up to there okay. and we're going to kick that up to um, kick that up to and that didn't connect. This is one of the joys of this game. So what we're going to have is this area here with the train coming down here, connecting up to this terminal here. And I think what we can do is just connect this up like that. That's more for fire protection, but then in the end of the day, if this burns down, so what? Now, this isn't going to have power, and I'm not overly sure whether it actually needs power, actually. So we'll leave that for the moment. And I think what I can do now is turn this into this bit here. We don't have a lot of money, so I'm not going to construct this. I can just construct one section just to show you guys. You just connect it, construct it up to here. How much is this? Okay. I still need 3,000 rubles, so... Okay, why is that not... Okay, it's just... 
I'm just going to connect the bouncer here. That now takes me up to the construction train, which should be able to build out this way. Now we're going to have to build this line in ourselves as well. I'm not sure if the construction train will run up here and build this. We'll find out. So I've got absolutely no idea, to be honest, guys. Uh, right. these up here an unfinished road here somewhere not sure where it won't let's build back until we've built this bit of road here oh this is asphalt okay Bit of a mistake there guys yeah that trapped my asphalt lane truck here yeah I think because we got the concrete up and running we got this road added here let's just get a let's give them a major project now I mean I have assigned the SP yep so we might as well I actually got a concrete truck no I haven't that's, that's another fail no point having a concrete mixer and what we'll do now is we'll start to work on this one project at a time I'm just gonna let this build up so we've now got this all worked out here and we're okay for time at the moment just want to get back over and have a look on this side to see how the food's going yeah we're up to 81 tons again so where's my little truck we're going to get back into the export business again and load not load anything so he can start making a bit of cash how am i doing for my economy we lost 19,000. We made 21,000 last month. So we're chugging along quite quickly now. And I think what we will do is just add that here. I'm actually going to slow this up a bit, guys, because it's getting a little bit ahead of me. <laughs> Plus, I think you can appreciate it more if it's not going 90 miles an hour got a little bit of road there that needs to be built in not sure yeah we can add that footpath as well actually let's get back to high speed now so we haven't got any bricks yet i suppose the brick guy over here is doing up Yeah, this guy's. I think what's happening is this guy's building up very slowly, and these guys are stealing the bricks from him. But to be honest, it's not important at the moment that that is running a hundred percent, because the moment the focus is very much on this bit here Let's see. So we've got a few roads running okay it's, this guy's delivering gravel to there what we got here got a new vehicle okay sign the concrete yeah we'll see this concrete guy doesn't feel he's got a need to do anything just at the moment probably because this is still needs gravel over concrete ah I thought I'd done this purchase order a bit of a fail there guys sorry about that 
That's it, it's woken up the concrete guy. See, what I was saying is you've got the workers working, coming down to here. They literally come through here. So where are you off to? You're off to do this bit here. You can see here that you can use the excavator or the, uh, what we call it, bulldozer. Hmm. Actually, we've got a bulldozer. No, I haven't actually. Let's just get a, let's have a play. Oh, we've got a bulldozer. Two of them. Oh, well, never mind. So this guy's punching out that. Hopefully, someone will get there. Where's the other bulldozer gone then? Oh, it's up here. Just building in the road here. <laughs> Looking good. So now I've got this area laid out. I, I don't really want to get into the. Uh, oil side just yet. In fact, what I could do actually, what we can do is I don't need to double back into there. So, what I could do is go climb. Thanks. I don't really want to. Right, I have a connection in that side of the track because if I do that with this area here we need you need to keep a reasonable distance between junctions for trains to come in as long as I got this air at this connection here and we could turn this off yeah when I mean, at the end of the day that track won't be very busy is it do now is bring this and what we can do is bring what I'm thinking guys is to get bring the, the fuel connection maybe down to about here so let's just have a look at railroad connection offloading fuel. Let's just get this in. There's a road there so I don't really want that. Actually we could... yeah we, that's an idea. Let's keep the rail theme going. We put the Yeah, we can put that just about here. And then we'll step off that bit there. And then we can... Um, oops. And we can... What's that saying? The building's in the way. Probably because this is too sharp. I think what happens is it's this curves out a little bit. What we actually need to do is bring this out a little bit and then and then put that into like that. And we'll just hook that round to like that. Again, there's gonna be no reason whatsoever for an oil train to go into these two areas. I mean, it's going to make this a little bit icky but this will not be particularly that busy and these trains all split off so what we should be able to do is have a flow through here with the traffic signals although I could move this um, thinking guys I'm thinking yeah I don't like this so what we're gonna do is 
get rid of this. Mm. I don't think this is going to let me get rid of this and this like that. Yep. And then we'll get rid of this section here like that. Mm. This section here like that. And then we can strike off strike off this bit further up like and then that can come like that and then that can come into there like that and then this can come along and connect up like that that means if a train comes down and gets stuck here it can, it can have a problem saying so we have a trains coming in on here, going out on that one. So that would be the outline, that would be the inline. This would be the inline, that would be the outline. This would be the outline, this would be the inline down to here. And that leaves a little bit of a gap should I need to take the railway over that way. I think that will work, guys. Let me just enter. And what I will do, guys, what I will do is think a bit about what I need to do up here. We'll just get rid of some of this stuff here. And that actually makes me a bit more comfortable of not crossing that track. I'm just going to... Okay. See if we can push this forward a bit. And that's now connected. I'll connect that. And I don't... That's... I would probably want that as else fault, so we'll put that there. And we've got a little bit of cash so we can build the asphalt plant. And of course, once it's finished, we're going to need to assign it. Sign the asphalt plant in. Yeah, I've got a paver, didn't we? Yeah, I've got a paver and a roller. And what we're going to do is, while well, I remember, is we oops, no, don't want gravel. We want some. One thing I do notice is that this tends to reverse on different buildings. It's not consistent. I'm just going to build this through here. Mm. I don't know if this is actually. Mm. What I want to do now is start turning some of these roads into asphalt so that we get a bit of speed on them. Some of them already are asphalt, it's just not every one of them. How's this going? So we've got 90 tons of concrete and 69 tons of gravel on there, but you can see we've got no asphalt in here at the moment. So this can't move any further. And this road is what we'll do is we'll add oops, oh, click on the truck. What we're gonna do is just add that little bit of road onto this here. And we're gonna just click that path up well I'm just gonna skype back over here make sure everything's okay yeah food's dropping down a little bit how's the capacity on that's good and how are we doing cash wise well we've spent quite a lot of money at the moment and of course the big expenditures here with the concrete and gravel and bitumen that I've built up. But if we can get this path built, then this should now come into range. Oh, that's it, guys, up here. And if you. Wait. 
I did hook that path into here, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> the little It's going to come up to there. Oh, we've got the asphalt truck has come down here. It's a bit of a fail here, guys, because he can't do anything until we got the asphalt built. But we've got the gravel here, so what we need now is for someone to come and build this for us. I think while we're waiting, I'll just hook some more footpaths through from there. And we can hook up that one there and this one to here because eventually we will need these workers in and I think what we can do is a proper path through here like that okay, let's just put this all the way through here and of course eventually we'll bring in that uh, building here guys I need 15 workers to do some gravel laying for me and then we'll be in business that's it yep it doesn't take long to build the rock once you get the workers here it doesn't take very long to to build these Yeah, that's now built and just to show you guys this is now in range so hopefully what we should get now is the next bus trap tra trip that comes down here will um, I think what we're going to do is run that into oh, no. We've now got workers in here. And what we should now get is the truck should get out and we will should build our first asphalt road. Yep. You can see the gravel going in. Or is the truck's gonna have to go all the way around here to get to here until we built these roads here? Which is a little bit of a pain in the neck. Right. I think what we will do is get these guys. I'll do that one. Let's get those footpaths built. Well, what you will see is this will come in here. And this guy will lay the, the asphalt. see the workers will now take the road up and that is finished by our first little bit of asphalt road and this is this is asphalt as well so what we're gonna do is just the sign what we're gonna do guys is sign that there and there's a, going to be a little bit of road there. This what the next thing I want to do is get this aggregate linked in. But I think this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. So in the next part, we'll keep building in this infrastructure. Maybe we'll get a little bit of... Uh, maybe we'll get a bit more of the railway built. This is what I want to do is get the railway right across to here and get it laid out and built completely. That's all going to be for the next part, guys. What I will do is look at the the engine station and maybe we'll, we'll, bring, we'll bring it out, out here. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. If there any questions, comments, uh, tips, feel free to chuck them in the video description. And so until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.